let us look at this question which uh, I asked you to do in the last video hopefully you have done this question uh, this is to simplify this rational expression okay so the question is x over x plus 2 plus x minus 2 over x so I have made videos of simplifying rational expression you can watch those videos but uh, when you're simplifying rational expression it is same as simplifying fractions so let me take a fraction say you got 3 quarter plus say 5 sixths is you can use a calculator but to make the to simplify this I need to make the denominators equal okay so you can make them 12 but well I can say what if I multiply this with 6 so and this also with 6 and uh, using a different color I'm going to multiply this with 4 and this with 4 so basically I'm swapping the numbers so 4 times 6 so this will change to 18 out of 24 plus 20 out of 24 okay and this is same as uh, 18 plus 20 out of 24 which is 38 out of 24 which you can simplify dividing both by half sorry dividing by 2 it is 19 out of 12 okay, and this you can change into mixed number so that's not uh, our main emphasis so let us look at this question I'm going to use the same technique here I'm going to multiply this denominator with x and this denominator with x plus 2 so I'll write the next step like this x over x plus 2 times x so as I multiply the denominator with x I'd also multiply the numerator with x plus I'm going to multiply this with x times x plus 2 but to also multiply the numerator with x plus 2. So basically if you look at it, let me draw a line here. This is the dividing line, okay. So yeah, what I have done is I, I multiplied the numerator and the denominator with x. So basically I haven't done anything. This and this are the same. Same way I have multiplied the denominator and the numerator with x plus 2. So this and this are the same. So this becomes x squared over I'll not expand this so this is x times x plus 2 plus if you expand this this will be x squared plus 2x minus 2x minus 4 over x plus x times x plus 2 okay so yeah ultimately so the denominators, denominators are same, so you can add the, so, well, you can cancel this out, plus 2x and minus 2x gets cancelled. So, what remains is, x squared plus x squared minus 4 over x times x plus 2. Okay, now, <clears throat> this becomes 2x squared minus 4 over x times x plus 2 and what can you factor out I can factor out a 2 there so if you factor out a 2 there you get x squared minus 2 over x times x plus 2 and this is your answer okay so let me this is your answer so you can't do anything further and uh, this is simplified to this form okay now here it is a question of div division so here so let me scroll up so this will become uh, I'll write the next step like this x plus 3 or the first step over 2y when you do you can change the div this division into multiplication but what happens is then this these two numbers will swap over that means the denominator will become the numerator and the numerator will become the denominator now you may wonder how does that happen uh, uh, okay now I'll explain this you should understand why this happens okay now see in maths you can do the opposite operation 
suppose so what do i mean suppose if if the question is 4 plus 6 4 plus 6 you know is 10 but for some reason i want to change this plus into minus how can i write 4 minus what if i want to make them equal instead of plus i have put a minus there so if you put a minus there you have to do the opposite of plus 6 which is minus 6 these two are the same i'll show this on a calculator so 4 plus 6 you should know is 10 okay, and if you go 4 minus minus 6 that will also give you 10 so if you're doing the opposite of plus so basically what's happening is this is plus 6 you're going 4 plus plus 6 is becoming 4 minus minus 6 what what if suppose it is so 6 minus 4 so 6 minus this is plus 4 so this minus can be changed into plus so this is 6 plus if you change this minus to plus then you have to change this into minus 4 so 6 minus plus 4 is same as 6 plus minus 4 let's see that on a calculator uh, you don't you can put this plus there okay so let's put that so 6 minus plus 4 is same as 6 minus 4 which should be 2 but if you go 6 plus minus 4 that is same as again 6 minus 4 that will give you 2 okay so what happens if it's a multiplication suppose say uh, say 6 times 4 can you change this chain into it so this is 6 divided by so this is 4 over 1 4 over 1 6 times 4 is 24 is same as 6 divided by a quarter okay so the, you have to do the opposite of 4 over 1 which is a quarter okay so let us see that on a calculator so you go 6 times 4 you should know it's 24 but if you go 6 divided by i'll put this in the bracket 1 divided by 4 is 24 okay and finally that's what we are talking about suppose we know 8 divided by 2 is 4 so this division sign can be changed into multi so it is 6 so this is 2 over 1 so if you do 6 divided by 6 divided by 2 is same as 6 times half and this should be very clear so let let us show let us see that so it's 8 divided by 2 which is 4 and 8 times 1 half is 1 you can use abc2 that's also 4 so that's what we have done so you have swapped this around and this is where many students find it difficult why do the why do you swap the number around so this goes to the numerator and this comes to the denominator so this becomes x squared times x plus 3 over 2y times 3y so this becomes so let us expand the numerator so this is x cubed plus 3x squared over 6y squared and this is your final answer hopefully this video has been helpful keep watching my videos and i would like you to do the next example this is one example this is nine times x plus 1.6 is greater than 7x minus 7.2 x minus 5 that's one example i'll work out the answers in the next video this is the next example a to the power y is phi and this is the third example okay Oh, there are four examples here so this is the third example and this is the fourth example see you in the next video